John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And he looked, and behold a well in the field, and, lo, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it, for out of that well they watered the flocks and a great stone was upon the well's mouth. Genesis 29-2 Commentary And he looked, and behold a well in the field. Near Haran, he might purposely look out for a well, as knowing that their people frequently came for water for their families, or shepherds to water their flocks, of whom he might get intelligence concerning Laban's family, and where they dwelt, or he might look out for this particular well, where his grandfather's servant had met with his mother Rebecca, of which he had been informed, and very probably had some directions how to find it of this well, see Gil on Genesis 24:11, to which may be added what another traveler says, there is in this city, Orpha, the same with Haran, a fountain, which both Jews, Armenians, and Turks, reported unto us was Jacob's well, and that here he served his uncle Laban near Alexandretta is a fine well, called Jacob's well, and its water is excellent, not far from which the Greeks say are the remains of Laban's house. And, lo, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it, in order to be watered, when it should be opened. For out of that well they watered the flocks, the shepherds, and a great stone was upon the well's mouth, so that until that was rolled off, they could not be watered, which was the reason of their lying by it the stone was laid upon it, partly to keep the water from flowing out, and being wasted, that there might be a sufficiency for the flocks, and partly to keep the water pure and clean, that it might be wholesome for the flocks, as well as entire for the use of those that had a property in it.